Whopper, Burger King Whopper. Yeah, it's with a good place. It's, it's a popular place, so you will see a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. All right, welcome to Manistee River Trails. Again, this is our sixth time being here. Today is an awesome day. This is uh, Friday, October the 16th. We are back again, hiking on this wonderful trail. We are backpacking for the night. This is the uh, Cottage Road. We park our car on the side and then start hiking back to the uh, Red Bridge. We're hoping to find a campsite soon so that we can get set up and settle right there and relax a little bit and then uh, go from there. If we do not get a campsite, then we will turn around and go the opposite direction. It is looking beautiful here with all these colors. As you can see, a lot of leaves are yellow, a lot of leaves are red and brown and As the uh, trail is looking beautifully enjoyable, we start hiking our way. Um, we are looking at a good four miles this direction. If we don't see anything interesting, then we turn around and go back to the other direction. Um, the main goal is to looking for a campsite so that we can get settled in. We came a little late, we got here uh, about 12.30 p.m. It took uh, almost three hours uh, to, to drive here. Quite a long drive, but we made it, we're here. So this is just a awesome, awesome day to be here. Wonderful trail, we will love it. I have my beautiful wife, Amy, in front of me. She has a uh, full load of uh, backpack. She has probably about almost 30 pounds bag. So I have no less than her. Mine is probably 31 pounds. So uh, it's quite heavy too. Uh, this time we uh, just doing overnight packing. Um, we did not carry much, but still end up with a uh, full backpack. Look at all these leaves that are laying on the ground. Yep, it is uh, raining this morning. It's, it is still wet. Um, a lot of area is still pretty wet. The leaves uh, might be slippery. So be careful about that. I'm not wearing the most comfortable shoes. I couldn't find my boots. So I'm gonna have to uh, slowly deal with the shoes that I have. Hopefully uh, I'll be safe, I'll be alright. And I know that by the end of the day, my feet will hurt. And I can feel it already just by going uh, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes. Oh yeah. We found a campsite, but it's not an official campsite. Looks like something that people just uh, decide to uh, camp. So we're gonna keep going a little bit, see if we can find another better location. I do know that there is better location. So we're gonna take our chances. There's a lot of people inside the wood here. More than likely, uh, we don't have enough campsite for everybody, so. 
It's a wonderful day. We have uh, 60 degrees. A um, little chill with the winds. We're talking 10 mile winds. Uh, and we also have 54% uh, of humidity. So not bad. It's a good day for hike. Still recommend to wear uh, two layer of clothing. Uh, you know, have a t-shirt on, sweater on, on, or maybe a light jacket. That's, a, that's what I have. Um, I got sweaters with me and I know that it's gonna get cold tonight maybe coming down to about 35 degrees so uh, yeah it's gonna be a chill so I uh, sort of prepare a little bit but wasn't sure am I preparing enough we'll find out tonight when I freeze myself and not able to get up in the morning looks familiar to me all these areas nothing uh, crazy well uh, looks like there's a pretty good spot right here um, this is 7b it's a very nice campsite we are picking out this one so that way we can set up and saddle right here we have a beautiful view right here Wow nice look at that Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful location. We like to pick this location, but a little scary because uh, we got this big old tree up there coming down. I'm afraid, so we're gonna go for another location. I don't really think that tree is gonna coming down, but I never know uh, with the winds that we have going. So we're going to start hiking a little more towards the uh, Red Bridge. Hopefully uh, we find a better uh, site that we can uh, settle and set up our tent. Uh, we still have a long way. Uh, we, right now it's barely at 2 o'clock. Actually uh, right now it's barely at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So we still have plenty of time. Um, I can only imagine how cold tonight it's going to be because uh, the, right now the wind hits, it's just freezing, cold wind. So the goal is uh, if we are not able to handle the cold, we will go back to the car and sleep in a car. That's depending how cold it is. Yeah, look at this, huh? Yeah, I hope so too. So I had to uh, change out the uh, filter because that filter was a little too dark for the video. Uh, this one would definitely uh, better. I took the filter off. Go straight. Let's see if there's a campsite right there. I believe there should be one, but I don't know is that an official campsite or not. Yeah, if it is, then uh, we might take that one. We'll see. It should have a number. If it's, is that what it say? It's got a fire pit, right? If it has a fire pit and it has the uh, sign in front of it, it's got a site number. So that means uh, it is the location that we want. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the fire pit. So uh, it is a camp spot, but it's very uh, buried with trees. There's no scenery at all. Um, we're gonna have to, uh, yeah. yeah, it is, uh, 
nice spot, but it's all covered with trees. There's no scenery. You can't even look out. So, uh, yeah, we go for another one just to see if the next one's a little better. I mean, if we don't have any option, we will take it. But right now, we still have uh, plenty of time to uh, decide. Yeah, our last resort is uh, to the car if we can't get a spot because uh, it is a little tough to find a campsite with this many people in the woods. We did uh, hike this whole entire area before, but we did it with uh, lightweight. We didn't really carry anything other than just a small backpack. This time we have a big backpack, carry heavy luggage. So it's a different story now. Beautiful trees as always. Um, yeah, this is another spot that people camp, but it's not really actual campsite. We'll keep going. Nice day, just a little chill. It's normal in uh, mid-October. That's just uh, how it is in Michigan. This year is considered to be a little chill sooner than I expected. But it's all right. We have sweater, jackets, and blankets. Hopefully that will help out a little bit. Hmm. So that creek is coming up another uh, half a mile, maybe. Yep. So at this point, I wasn't sure are we really on the trail, but we just keep hiking. We will meet uh, the, the trail. Well, when you out of place to camp you just kind of have to go and find yourself a camp spot because they don't make enough campsite for everybody so there's plenty of room for people except that uh, whether you want to take it or not these branches are sticking out I gotta be careful because uh, they might uh, poke you in the eye. Just have to uh, watch out. Yeah. So I didn't remember that little that path go down at all. No, we're not lost. We keep going. Eventually, we we'll find the trail. I mean, all we can do is turn around, right? Yeah. Sorry, I got you lost. Uh, we usually uh, hike from the uh, Red Bridge, but this time we're going the opposite direction. No, that yeah, that way. Yeah, going down there. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna go that way. Sorry. Uh, I got a little confused with Amy. Yeah, so yeah, this is a very long hill. I remember um, when you're coming from the opposite direction, you will be uh, hustle yourself and tire yourself out. It's a long, long hill. It's probably the longest hill of this whole entire trail, sort of like that. I remember last time we came here, we came up, it was quite slippery. This time it's much better. At least it's not bad at all, that I think. Huh? Kids, no. Ki yeah, it's, uh, it's only a mile into the trail.
Yeah. Um, looking at Amy load, she have the tent sitting on top, and then she have her sleeping mat on the bottom, and then uh, she carry her sleeping bag on the very bottom, and then uh, also in the midsection she put some of her clothes, and then also food on top of that. Uh, that's why she got a heavy load herself. Estimated out probably close to 30 pounds. Oh, it's, it, it's gone bad. Yeah. So there's no... Uh, Yep, it's, there's no improvement on this spot. It's still the same. Oh yeah, this is rugged area here. So be careful. Yeah. Imagine that we have two coming right back. It's a long hill. So that was what, eight, a seven C, seven B? That we pass, we didn't take. Well, the first one is sort of okay, but then you said that tree coming down. That's a that's also very close to the car too. Yeah, we're here to hike, so we do some hiking. And if we really can't get a spot, we can uh, get back to the car. Um, no. The camp spot usually high up. Yeah, carefully going downhill. Yeah, not sure why people go up there, but people will always go up somewhere. Oh yeah, beautiful as always. Plenty of people uh, sat down on this spot for taking a break. Got a nice scene right here to the right. We have water, people fishing inside their boat. Hey, hey. Right here? No scenery? No scenery. But, uh. Yeah. They do it with the mud. What is it called? Totem? Um, my tree talking. Windy. Nam tỏ mày đèn xăm rồi, mày đèn cho là cua. Um, I can uh, take a look at the map in a second. Not, not the big map, the the phone map. The big map, the map is different. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Well, hey, that mushroom is the. Uh, yeah. Look, it's yeah. edible. Yeah. It's, so it's growing again. Yeah. Oh. Is this the only one? Take a picture of it. Yeah, I'm picking it too.
Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Look, that's, that's what it looks like on that mushroom. Yeah. Amy was so happy that she found a mushroom. I have no idea what that mushroom is, but she's happy about it. If it's a uh, peach, pink color, she say that it is edible, but I don't know. I just uh, take her word for it. We'll find out when we put it in our mouth. So, what do you see? Huh? That's an oyster? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Why is so gooey? I think it's gooey. No, it's not gooey. It's not bad. Yeah? Oh, turkey tail? So we got a heart mushroom here and then a turkey tail there. So sure, yeah, I blocked the light. So go ahead, take that picture. Wow. Yeah, quite beautiful. Take that picture. It's coming, okay, huh? Yeah? Okay. Oh, gentle. We have a beautiful river right here. Look at this location. Got Amy uh, walking towards the wood over there. She uh, looking for mushrooms, I think. Yeah. Here in Mesty River, you want to fall out a boost pack. Can somehow. Now, you want? Uh, we've got a, quite a bit of mushroom in this section here. I'm not really sure what mushroom that is. It looks quite uh, fancy. So this is uh, 1.45 p.m. here in uh, Manistee River Trail. We've uh, been hiking for uh, an hour already. Okay. Still available. Yeah. That one's fine. Yeah. It's right here by the river. Yeah. 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 We had a big burger, we gotta burn it out. Hopefully, don't they can mean full not nun 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 Well, we don't get it in the car. So we are turning around because uh, we could not find a campsite. Uh, it's taking. The one that we like, we can see it already is taking. So we're gonna get back to the very first one and uh, we'll see if it's still open. Um, if it's open, then we'll take that one. If not, then uh, we'll go to the other end and hopefully there's one open for us. Um, don't know. 
so we keep going and we can have a very long hill to climb so we're talking uh, a quarter miles of hills that we gotta go up we just came down now we gotta go back up on this long hills it's gonna be a good exercise for us we'll be all right we train for this so our body can handle this uh, situation, no problem. Yeah. Amy has been doing this for several years now, so her body is completely built for this. She can handle this heavy weight and going up the hills. We have uh, this uh, rugged area right here. Amy's going up the hills with uh, 30 pound bags. So let's see how long she lasts. Oh, tiny, you want to pick it? What are you going to do with one? We're going to do with one mushroom. One's enough for you. Okay, all right, pick it then. Uh, Amy's going to choose this route instead of the other one. Why? You don't want to duck under. So this one still a little tough. Going up the hills. We have long hills to climb. We're not even halfway yet. Keep going. You can do it. You just have to put mushroom in front. I'll yeah. Be able to. <laughs> yeah. You need the mushroom. Once the mushroom, once you uh, see the mushroom, you got the energy to go. There we go. This is the uh, top spot right here. Can you make it that one? Oh yeah, easy for you. Not easy for me. Oh yeah, we have a long hill to climb. Uh, we almost made it to the top. We are uh, halfway through. Like I said, this is a uh, quarter miles hills. Pretty long hills. So uh, it's gonna wear you out. You're gonna need water when you get to the top. Oh yeah. Here we go. Almost. A few more hundred feet. We'll be on top. Yeah. Feeling good, very nice breeze air, quiet, there's nobody here at the moment, oh, awesome. Let me catch up with Amy. There you go. Yep. I catch up with Amy so that you guys can uh, see what we are. Uh, Carrying heavy backpack. Oh yeah, we almost to the top. Almost hanging there, just a little bit. We're not to the top. We're Just right now. I'm over. We're gonna win on. Oh, it's going good. It's going good so far. Hopefully when we get back to that uh, campsite 7A, 7B, once we get back to 7B, I hope uh, nobody take that spot yet. We're going to take that spot because that spot is very close to the car. We can uh, get back to the car anytime we, we need to. Oyster! Yep. People are probably saying I'm like hearing my uh, Burger King. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Amy happy to see her mushrooms. She was able to pick a few nice mushrooms. Awesome, awesome thing to do here in the woods. Hopefully you can uh, have a little meal out of it. That'd be nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just leaves. It looks like leaves. Yeah, that's the site on the left that would say too many trees blocking the view, and we don't want that one. Oh, you stand here and you go take the other one. Looking good, looking good. We're almost there. Yeah. Give it uh, another uh, half a mile. Why didn't you get a message for you? Tell him to come meet up here. So, <laughs> we should be uh, coming up very close to campsite 7B. On the left hand side, we have a bunch of uh, pine needles on the ground. But it's got a nice view, half of the nice view, I guess. So we don't mind it because it's getting late. It's over uh, past two o'clock already. If we don't take that spot, more than likely, we will not get a spot because uh, many people will take the spot. Today, much Yeah. 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 All right, honey. We are here. We're gonna take this spot tonight. Yeah, we're gonna set up the tent tonight and then uh, this is our place for tonight. It's looking pretty good. Beautiful view. Got all this uh, tall pine trees. This should uh, block some of the winds if it's wind, if it's raining. But should be all good. So, oh, 30 pounds, heavy luggage. I'm gonna put my luggage right over here, right on the spot. Oh, that was good. We have a beautiful wood here. All these pines pretty straight up. Again, this uh, scary tree on top, but it's okay. I don't think it's gonna come down. Okay, we got our uh, campsite uh, reserved. We put our tent down, we set it, it's all good to go. We're gonna go for a hike a uh, few minutes and then we'll be back. We don't wanna leave our tent uh, too long. Um, never know, you know, people might come in and tear our tent apart, which probably not, but you know, never know. Just to be safe, we'll go for a short hike around the neighborhood and then uh, Come back. We go for a little hike along the uh, trails just to check out the uh, neighborhood area just to see what we can find. Not really expecting anything but it's just uh, fun to uh, walk around the area where we camp. Hopefully uh, we find something interesting. But it's all good. This is a pretty good area so far. Pretty quiet. I don't see anybody at the moment. Yeah, people just disappeared today. I, I think the uh, peak moment is past. That's why uh, there's less people shows up. 
Alright, alright, I'm making Amy go down this path with me. This is uh, quite steep, all the way down to uh, the bottom where the water is at. Let's see if we can get to the bottom from here. Looking pretty nice so far. Yeah, it's quite steep. You okay there? Yeah. Don't don't rush us out. Just slowly go down. Uh, still quite a long way to go. Unless they go down this path. So this path is sort of diagonal. Okay. Not really sure down there. Maybe people go down to get water. What do you think? I'm pretty sure that uh, they made a path for a reason. Wow, this is a pretty nice location for trees. Look at the sun is it's all yellow and the sun is over there. Be careful, watch the footstep. Oh, so this tree came down. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing here. This is the end of it. You go first and that way. You gonna walk on top of that log? Sturdy. Yeah. You made it to the bottom. All right, that's the log right there that I'm gonna walk on. Here you go. Taking my chances. You think you can find uh, some sort of mushroom here? Dead log. Uh, there's nothing grow on there. Oh, these are just fine. Yeah. And then uh, birch. No mushroom. Sorry, honey. That was kind of like. Uh, I was thinking about we'll go all the way down into the water. Why not? It's really uh, did you go there and check it? Let's walk down a little bit and see if we can get to a uh, water area. Pretty swamp, right? Maybe? Looks like people are trying to go, see? Okay. Swamp land. I'm gonna see how far I can come, okay? Um you don't have to come if you don't want to. I just wanna check it out, see how far I can go. You don't have to come. Is it swamp? Careful, okay? There's um, water right here. Yep, you're gonna have to hop over. Yep, hop over. There you go. Alright, I'm headed to the water. Look at how clean the water is. Now we know if we need water, we can come get it here. And you can tell that people came here for water too. Sort of uh, nice down here in a way. Let's uh, climb this big hills up. Do you need a stick? Let's 
Looks like uh, Amy is doing well. She's halfway up. We came down pretty steep. We didn't see anything special down here. We'll go right back up. Got me a stick. Uh, we'll try. Ooh, that was pretty uh, steep. We just got out of that. We're alive. Uh, we just challenge ourselves uh, going deep down and climbing back up. This section is actually pretty. I think people down there are kayaking. I think they kayak through that area. Colorful. The color is not dead yet. Wanna check down there? Can you see? How far can you see? Oh, they are uh, they're kayaking through the river. How you sure you Okay, let's keep going. Not too far, we'll be back to the car and then uh, we can grab uh, water. And then uh, swing around the other way. Beautiful trees over here. Remember that one year we went down to the left hand side? Yeah, we did. We went down and there's a big old chicken down there. Not this one? Yeah, it is, honey. It is, honey. It is. This is the one. Yeah, it's the one. Let's go all the way down there. And there's a little bit, little island down there. No, I just, I'm just showing you. Check the Yep, we'll stay on this trail for the next uh, half a mile. Hopefully we'll make it back to the truck. Then uh, we'll grab some water. We'll turn around, coming back. We need some water for cooking. Uh, I think there is a camp spot here. Uh, let's take a look at, there's a sign right there, right? It's got a blue sign right there. There's no camping here. No camping? Yeah, no camping. Is this a private area or something? Look at the view. There's the uh, river. Kind of strange. This spot they don't let camping, is it? Because it's pipe area. We follow this big path, go all the way there to the right. I know we came here once before. I think this big path here will take all the way to the car. You think? Yep. We'll find out. We'll follow this big path. Because I know that from the uh, where we set the uh, uh, tent, it's not too far from uh, the car. We we'll just follow this path and keep going. Looking beautiful up there. So beautiful. Look at this, all these leaves on the ground. Let me take one more picture. Beautiful right here. Love it. 
I'm just gonna walk backward and talking to the camera. Today is such a beautiful day. This is October 16. We're here at Manistee River. We are here to uh, do hiking. We came here many, many times. This is like the sixth time. Uh, we enjoy this beautiful place. Uh, I wish we were here last week, but we had a big trip last week, so we uh, sort of uh, skipped this area. So we're coming back this week, but it's kind of a little late. Uh, it's still good, it's still pretty, just I was thinking it's just a little late. Um, still pretty nice. Other than that, we are looking for a good campsite and we did, we got it pretty good. Now we're just walking back to the car just to get some water. Luckily it's not far at all from the campsite to the car. Uh, maybe like a half mile walk. Yeah, we're just gonna follow this path. We have a beautiful scene over there. Let me take a picture of it. <laughs> it's beautiful. So you see people walking past over there. Yeah, they're gonna go find their campsite now. They, uh, more than likely, they're gonna start looking for a campsite at this time. Um, that's the thing is that you gotta be here early to reserve a spot or else the beautiful campsite is gonna be taken. Uh, we're lucky enough to, to get a site. Uh, we just have to walk back here, get some water, we'll be right back. And then we can kind of hang out right there, chill out a little bit, uh, watch the sunset, you know, that type of thing. Uh, light up the fire and then we can possibly warm up some food to eat. It'd be nice to get some hot soup, but we, I don't think we have hot soup today, so. Uh, just something. Yeah, you uh, be on cup noodle. Yeah, we can do a cup noodle. Mm -hmm. That would be a, a good idea to bring up this uh, little bit of cold. Chill. Yeah, we're gonna do this uh, chilling part out. Pretty nice. <laughs> so here we are, we're back to the car. We just grab some water and then we hit it back going. Yeah. Oh yeah. We uh, made it back to the uh, car. We picked up a uh, few more bottles of water and uh, I got me uh, some towels. So I'm gonna use uh, one for pillow support and then uh, possibly uh, use one as blanket. I don't know, we'll see. Um, if you want to use it as pillow, that's fine. I can give you one as pillow. I brought it in. Uh, I can have one. Amy can have one, but if you don't want it, I take both. Okay, I offer it to you. Do you want it? Oh, now you don't want it. Oh yeah, nice to be back hiking on this trail again. Uh, we're sort of uh, in the wrong direction a moment ago, but it's kind of nice because, you know, we got to a, actually a pretty nice location. They, I, I couldn't understand why they don't let camping right there. It's just a really nice, clear, flat land, perfect to set up your tent. Maybe they reserve that for a group uh, camping or something. Anyways, we have uh, another half mile walking back to the car, which is uh, not bad at all. We do that tomorrow, but now we're heading to our tent that we set up. Um, kind of chill, kick back and relax. Um, we might light up the uh, bonfire uh, later on chill. We probably try not to stay, stay past uh, 9 o'clock and get a good night's sleep. Wake up tomorrow, do a little bit of hiking, and then uh, we can head back home. I have another place to be tomorrow by probably 4 or 5 p.m. So, 
some gentlemen that I uh, met them in the halfway, just have a little chit chat with them. They came from uh, St. Joseph, which is only an hour away from Holland. That's where I live. They are doing the uh, 20 miles hiking here. They plan to have one day or two day weekend here or something like that. One or two days here over the weekend. They want to hike the whole entire 21 miles. Uh, they will camp on this side tonight and then tomorrow they're going to cross the suspension bridge and they're going to spend the whole entire day hiking on the north countryside. Uh, I've never been there. Don't really uh, interested in going there because uh, they don't have water access over there and it's just basically hiking through woods. So, but it's okay, they can do it because uh, they came prepared, they planned for it. We are not in that situation. We basically here for like a weekend getaway, get in the wood a little bit, hike a little bit, enjoy a little bit of uh, sleeping in the wood. It's just an overnight thing for us. Hmm. Holy towel. <laughs> um, I'm gonna swim and then uh, I need a towel. So that'll be a perfect thing to do. Uh, they're probably wondering uh, why you're carrying a bag. Uh, you just come from shopping or something? Well, just uh, something to think about because uh, something that's not a normal thing happens. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting close to uh, our tent on the right hand side coming up on that campsite. We're we'll saddle right there. We have a uh, beautiful path in front of us. We can uh, cut through here, make it a little faster. There's no uh, woods nearby. You gotta go far away to pick up these uh, branches so we can start the fire. fire going and I got my noodles in my hand. I'm feeling good. We had a good day hiking. We're enjoying this beautiful spot right here. Oh gosh, love it. Can't beat this. This is the, this is the best right here. Nice warm noodle soup for this cold weather. We got perfect view. Awesome, awesome. Can't beat this. This is the best.
sweating that bit. Well, that's our morning right there. It's all wrapped up. Uh, thanks to uh, my awesome wife, Amy. She uh, took the cold, cold morning to uh, unpack and then pack everything correctly. Making sure that everything is all good prior to going home. We have a beautiful morning sunrise over the uh, Manistee River. As you can see, we have some clouds, a little bit of sunlight coming down, uh, brighten up that clouds, but you see a little bit of shine on the water, awesome, awesome time, very cold, we're looking at 28 degrees with 5 mile winds, uh, at least the humidity a little high in the 80s, but still very cold freezing night. Since everything is all wrapped up and packed, we're ready to uh, head out in a minute here. So, all right, here we go. Grip this. I'm too bulky. Yeah. So Amy's all set. So here's my uh, backpack. Oh, quite heavy. Arm in. Oh yeah, I'm all ready to go. Right, get it right back. It has been awesome, awesome time hiking and camping in this uh, spot right here. We have a beautiful location. This is campsite number seven B. You have an awesome view. If you take this campsite number 7B, you get this uh, awesome, awesome uh, location high up, and you can look down Manistee River, and you got a beautiful view in front of you. And you also have all these tall pine trees blocking you, helping with the windy situation. Um, it, we got pouring rain last night. It's cold, it's freezing, 28 degree, but we survived through. I'm glad that we did okay. It is quite cold, but we made it through. Obviously, we're not prepared for this type of cold condition camping, but we made it through, and we learned from this. Uh, time. We learned from this time. Um, this is just early morning. You can see we got these beautiful clouds over the uh, uh, river, and uh, we have a beautiful view of water falling through. It is looking good. So we're all wrapped up, everything's all packed. We're ready to hit back. So we're, it, it has been an awesome, awesome time hiking. We love it. We we'll definitely will come back again. Um, so thank you for checking out this video. Until next time, let's hit it back, guys. There's my uh, beautiful ninja wife right there.
You can't tell how pretty she is because she had that thing wrap on her face. She might be sexy. Alright, here we go. Time is up. Wrap up and go. Here is campsite 7B. Here we go, Saturday morning, October 17th. We are here at Manistee River Trail. We camped last night on camp number 7B. It is quite beautiful, awesome location. It is cold, freezing rain. We got rain for three hours last night, heavily. And uh, when we woke up this morning, we're down to 28 degrees. All those rain turned to uh, frozen ice. Very, very cold morning. But the sun is coming out from the east side over there. The sun is coming out from the east side of there, as you can see. So uh, we are heading back to the car. It has been a wonderful time here. Great experience learning to uh, camping in this uh, awesome wonderful October time you get to see this false color uh, we're a little late but it's still nice the prime time was uh, last week this week it's just uh, the, the falling off the peak time but it's still nice it's not quite too late you still get to enjoy the last bit of the falls and of course uh, when we get down to the uh, lower lower peninsula you get to see a, a lot more falls coming up this week they haven't uh, peaked down there yet so we get to do one more time enjoyment down there on the uh, lower peninsula heading right back to the car we have uh, a good uh, half mile hiking to do luckily it's not bad hiking at all it's just a flat land uh, we picked out the right location next to the car, so it is good, good thing to do. So that way you don't have to hike so far, especially a long night, terrible sleep due to uh, rain and cold, rough sleeping. But we made it through. We survived. So we uh, we gained so much uh, knowledge and experience about this type of uh, camping. We will definitely prepare better next time for this uh, situation. I uh, obviously didn't look at the forecast very well, not knowing that it's gonna be uh, raining, freezing cold, that uh, rainstorm was just uh, terrible, quite uh, scary and enjoyable in a way. You know, sleeping in a tent with that pouring rain coming down feeling uh, soothy and relaxed in a way but also worry and scary and cold in another way we uh, have another group of people came by close to us they came late they didn't have any place to uh, camp so they camped kind of close to us but they're like 50 feet away so no biggie at first they make some noise a little noisy but then at uh, 10 o'clock, they, they uh, stop. That's when they go to sleep. And that's when we uh, all go to sleep. Uh, but we got up a little earlier than they are. Uh, they got up a little later. Uh, we get to enjoy the beautiful sunrise. Um, they did not because uh, they woke up late and they're not in the correct location. So they don't have the view like we do. Uh, doesn't seem like they care because they're not really uh, into that type of thing uh, I can see that they're probably heading out to uh, continue hiking all day seems like that's what they're gonna do but for us we wrapped up everything we're heading back to the car so we can go home we had uh, other things that we gotta do um, I kind of want to hiking a little more to the other side 
but after this heavy rain and knowing the trail there's some tough area that might be uh, slippery um, I don't have the proper shoes for it uh, my shoes is, uh, is I have a terrible shoes uh, it's more than likely when I get to those location I'm gonna be uh, having a hard time sleeping slippery and all that stuff uh, didn't really feel like taking the risk the chance especially uh, this temperature is not getting any better anytime soon plus uh, forecast say that it's gonna start rain a little after 11 close to noon don't really feel like uh, fighting with the rain coming back soaking wet and stuff like that so maybe uh, it's gonna have to wrap it up the hiking camping short this time and then uh, we'll see if we can uh, make it up next week or the week after that see how it goes but uh, I think uh, this is the last bit of the fall season camping um, otherwise uh, if you come after that it's kind of way too late for the fall season so all you do is just dealing with the cold unless you have the proper clothing and the proper uh, tent gears mats and blankets and stuff like that uh, then you'll be alright uh, my sleeping bag is only rated for 30 degree but I feel like it's more of a 50 degree sleeping bag not quite uh, supporting that's why we uh, cold uh, a bundle up with uh, sweatpants and shirts I have four layers of clothing including my jacket and still freezing inside the uh, sleeping bag so that's telling you how cold it is uh, we just didn't gear up properly we didn't have the proper clothing for this type of condition so it's a learning curve Knowing this, next time if we really want to go in a cold temperature like this, we need to buy the correct uh, gears, clothing, so that way we're not uh, struggling. We have probably like another uh, quarter of miles to go before we get back to the car. So it's not a very long hike at all. We'll be there shortly. But after all, it is a uh, great time here hiking and do this short camping over the weekend it is about getting away from the city so uh, I I like to uh, take my wife out just to do this type of thing just to relax and get away from the city get away from work do the last camping of the year uh, we did it not the greatest but we did it just something to be uh, remember that we did it so we're getting to be uh, close to the car and I can see our truck is right there um, this is all good so wrapping up for this type of camping Thank you so much for everybody watching this video. Until next time, take care everybody.